Okay, in this video, I'm going to look at calculating summary statistics and drawing basic plots when you have a quantitative variable, but in groups. In this case, I'll start with groups of, being, of gender, male and female. So first, I will read the data and attach the and attach the uh, data. So this next command here says by height gender mean. It says I'm going to compute the mean, that's the last thing, of height by gender. And you will see now I have gender 0 and gender 1 in the height uh, of, of each. To ply does the same thing, but especially if you have more than one two groups, the presentation is a little bit easier to, um, to to read. It just puts them both on one row. And that might, might not make much difference when you have two groups, but when you have six or eight, then uh, yes, it makes a difference. Of course, I've done this for mean. I could just, as if, if you want to, then you can either copy or just change that. If I want to do uh, standard deviation, now I'll have the standard deviation for both groups. So that's how to get your statistics. You just put whatever statistic you want in the in there. I tend to use the uh, to ply a lot more than buy, but uh, whichever you like is, is fine. Okay, so for uh, a box plot, I'm going to do height tilde gender. So now I'm going to get a, a comparative box plot with gender this must be I'm gonna assume that this is males tend to be a little taller and then uh, females here in a box plot um, for those you can at least see this is kind of interesting at least uh, in terms of what people are reporting it looks like a lot of the males looks like the, the median and the third quartile is both 72 inches in other words six feet so maybe uh, anybody that's close to six feet might be uh, uh, reporting that as well Oh well, okay. Just interesting, just happened to notice that. Okay, so the next thing here, what I'm going to do is I want to have a density plot that has both males and females on it. To do that, I'm going to have to refer to a package called SM. You will probably, I already have it done it myself, you will probably have to go to Packages and Install and type SM there and just Put that in and install it. And it'll go through uh, a little process there. I've already done it, but uh, it'll take a few seconds. Just wait through, let it cycle through everything. It may have to put in some uh, some dependencies, which would be other packages that have to be installed in order for the SM to, to work. But you'll probably have to do that. Again, just install, type the name of the package. As soon as you start, it's going to give you uh, things with those letters, and then uh, and just click install. And the, once you have that package, if it's not one of the default packages in R, and SM isn't, you'll always have to either put library SM or the word require in SM in parentheses. Either one of those will work um, to, to, to load the package. To be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what the difference is. I've used them interchangeably depending on my mood over the years. So anyway, I'm going to... So it's... Uh, it's in there. It says we're going to load that package, and then this is the command in that. Density compare, and then height is the quantitative variable, and then gender is the uh, categorical variable for which, for which I want the uh, plot. And I can see I have a distribution uh, for both. The red line in this case is uh, for males, and the green dash line is for, uh, for females. Now, I probably... Um, and I'll show you in another plot. I'm going to keep this one fairly simple. I probably would go away from the colors of, uh, of red and green because I think uh, someone who's colorblind probably will have trouble distinguishing those. The only good thing is that the, in the default is that it does give one as a dash line and the other as a solid line. So there's another hint besides color, which is something you should do if you are uh, plotting graphs is um, actually both of those. Do something physical like physical like this case a solid line and a dashed line and I'll show you in another video how to uh, 
uh, have a color uh, palette that uh, is friendly to at least the most common forms of color blindness. Okay, that'll be it for this video. Okay, I decided to come back. There was one other thing I wanted to show you here. I'm going to click up in the top to get the uh, names of variables in this data set because I'm going to use a different uh, variable. And what I wanted to do is get something that wasn't just two groups. And uh, political affiliation, I know, isn't one in this data set. So uh, wherever I have, like, supply, height, gender, I could put political affiliation there. And now I'll get them, uh, in this case, the standard deviation for each of the three groups. And then when I did the box plot, Now I'll get a box plot for each of the three groups. And when I did the density, I'll get a plot with uh, lines for, or with densities for all three groups.